life was never constant. Changes happen from simple things like your annoying brother who enjoys making fun of you, who turns into a polite gentleman in front of strangers, to life-changing events like traveling to your home country that you didn't grow up in. Comfort zone and the ability to adapt come hand in hand. Accepting changes bring unexpected opportunities. It's not about being comfortable. It's about being willing to step outside your comfort zone to grow as a person. Accepting changes can be hard, but it's a necessary part of living life. The good news is that starting a new goal or something new allows us to grow and expand. And as we expand, new opportunities often appear. Sometimes your lifestyle and activities change. Sometimes the people around you change. Being able to adapt to those changes is key to keeping yourself happy. But that doesn't mean it's always easy. I am a third culture kid. I grew up in Doha, Qatar with a five-hour time zone difference from the Philippines. From prep to fourth grade, I attended a Philippine international school. Here, you can speak Tagalog quite freely. It felt like the rules aren't that strictly enforced. Many areas in the school are accessible, and it feels more casual most probably since I was still green. In fifth grade, I transferred to a Philippine community school, and it was completely different. The English-only policy was strictly implemented. They, have, they are more focused academically, have events that my former school doesn't have, and you can only speak in Tagalog during Filipino and Arabic subjects. The EOP is recommended in breaks but not so much compared to ongoing classes. This school transfer is a change that hinted me to focus more on my studies. I realized that the phase where I didn't care about anything had come to an end. The phase where I come to school early just to play with my friends, take exams without studying properly, go with the flow, and not have the time to discover more about myself. I entered the stage of slowly but surely coming to the realization of what I should be doing that will benefit me more. My English communication skills were enhanced. I became more responsible and I became more aware. In seventh grade, despite being in the same school, the new campus was completed. It was another new environment. More foreign students enrolled. New enhanced facilities were built. The equipment was upgraded, such as whiteboards to smartboards and armchairs to set of desks with separate chairs. In this grade, I entered the pilot section, the top section that represents the whole batch and serves as their role model. This change received mixed reactions. While I accepted this change as it could help me in the long run, I was burdened with the need to reach the high expectations set by my parents, teachers, and peers. I was careful with how I acted to avoid being called out and getting in trouble. I was pressured on how I could match the pace of my classmates who excelled academically in addition to their individual talents in various fields. Here, I found my best mate whom I still keep in touch despite being conscious away. Grade 8, I adjusted to the pressure and stress of being part of the pilot section. With this, I rediscovered my passion and found my knack for arts, so I joined the artisan club. I also chose the woodworking or civil technology as my TLA specialization alongside my best mate.
I fell in love with it. So I made the best out of it. During this school year, I became more comfortable. I gained more self-confidence and slowly reached out to try other things I haven't done before. Things got better in grade 9, with familiar faces and all. I even got more comfortable being with them. They influenced me to be more confident, open-minded, try new things, explore myself, practice public speaking, initiate volunteering, and not just keep to myself. I gained the opportunity to learn that it is important to have people with good influence surround you. But then, the pandemic happened. I returned to the Philippines. It wasn't fun being forced back to a country you weren't used to. I continued my studies in a public school in Calamba, Laguna. I was confused and uncomfortable since compared to transferring school, but still in the same country, this was a complete 180 degree change. Not a 360 since I just go back to where I came from. In 10th grade, I discovered a lot of dissimilarities through comparison and contrast. I found that you can speak Tagalog freely, including teachers while teaching, and that they have an apparent difference in the list of subjects, 13 to 9 and all. I was shocked, especially when you take online classes into account. I couldn't understand and mesh well with my new classmates. I can't keep up with their conversations. I don't know deep Tagalog words that they use. I don't know what the common sense here is. I don't know how to mold myself to fit in. And I was just lost. But I made it. I found myself who can adjust but not lose who I am. I learned their common sense a bit just enough to communicate. And I made friends who understand my situation. I felt more content with who I am currently. Now, in grade 11, another change happened since this time I enrolled in Tanawan, Batangas. I was pleasantly surprised to see that you can choose your own section, so I chose STEM 11B. When school started, I still wasn't added to the class group chat, so I messaged a teacher to inquire about it. Funny, that teacher added me to a Hume's GC instead of STEM. Later on, my supposed advisor messaged me that there were no more slots in STEM 11B, so I was transferred to STEM 11E. I don't hate this change. I like it, actually. I found friends who I can open up to, relate to, and communicate with no shyness. I regained my lost confidence and had the opportunity to learn about the mindset here. As you learn to adjust and deal with the shifts in life, you start to reach out and make friends. Then you will experience unknown possibilities that you could have never thought of before. Accepting the change and then adapting benefits in many ways. First, it makes you more in control of your life. Second, it helps you to focus on what is important to you in any given situation. Finally, it can keep you from getting stressed out and makes you happier overall. I am accepting the change that happened in my life. I have gone through a lot of obstacles, but now I am adapting. I am happy with my new lifestyle. And it is a positive effect for me. Accepting the change puts us in a position to adapt. We don't have to accept every change. But if we can accept it, then it becomes easier to adapt. Plus, we'll be happier when we do. By accepting the change, we do not get stuck in the resistance, but rather acknowledge that life changes all the time and tune in to how this may benefit us. So, when there's a change, make the best out of it. After all, accepting changes bring unexpected opportunities.